Hey, stop. Hey. I want to talk to you. I need to talk to you. No, 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 no. Listen, I, I need to talk to you. Like, really talk to you. Not this... Whatever it is we've been doing lately. I have some things that I want to talk to you about and I want you to actually listen to me. I want you to answer me. Look, I'm, I know that I'm not in a position to be demanding anything. I'm not in a position to be telling you what to do or asking you to do anything for me. At least not anymore. Okay, but... I can't do this anymore, okay? Like, I get it. I get it. I get it. You hate me. You hate me, right? Like, things can't go back to how they used to be between us anymore. And that's fine, okay? That's fine. But if we're going to pretend that everything's okay, if we're going to go back and act like we're just nobodies again. Then when we talk to each other, it's this heavy tension in the air. And whenever I try to, I don't know, interact with you, there's just this passive aggressiveness. Like, I'm trying to talk to you normally and I constantly feel like I've done something wrong. And I know that I've done something wrong in the past that's why we're not together anymore that's why you can say that you hate me and i won't blame you but you're the one that agreed that we would be okay even if we break up you're the one that agreed that you didn't want to work things through you're the one that agreed that we would be better off apart. So if you hate me and if you blame me and if you're mad at me for walking away, I'm sorry, but that's not on me, okay? Sure, I'm not the healthiest of persons, okay? I'm not the best. I'm not the greatest, okay? I'm overly clingy. I'm overly jealous. I'm overly demanding. I'm overly controlling. I have problems. And I'm willing to work on them. And as bad as it was to be with me, you have your problems too, and I'm not going to list them out for you because that's not the focus of this talk. I'm not here to make you feel bad about how bad it was to be with you because I'm not going to be that person because it wasn't. I loved being with you, and I enjoyed almost every moment of it, the goods and the bads. But when I turned to you and asked you for help, when I turned to you and I said that I need you, you said it was too much for you to bear and you couldn't handle it. That's... That's okay. <laughs> that's okay. It hurts. It hurts a lot. But that's okay. Because I shouldn't turn to you... And expect you to save me. Expect you to heal me. Expect you to make me better. Make me happy. That's, that's not what a relationship is for. If you want to do that, you can do that. If you want to stand by my side and help me as I go through therapy. As I go through rehab. As I try to better myself. That is amazing. But that's, that's not what you're here for. That's not what you were there for. So I don't blame you for saying that it's too much. I am a hurt because you left when I needed you, but I don't blame you. 
That is why when you say you wanted to walk away, you wanted to just be friends again. Well, I accepted that, huh? I took my tail between my legs and I walked away, as you would say. I went and I was a child. I wasn't a man. I didn't stand up for myself. Listen, okay? I am doing my best to keep this just friends things just friends. I am doing my best to treat you with the absolute love, respect that I've had for you since day one, since in the relationship and now out of the relationship. So I'm going to need you to do the same for me, okay? Because when I tell you good morning, and the way you look at me, and the way you talk to me, that hurts. And maybe if I had done something horrible, like cheating on you or something, I would understand. Maybe if I was abusive to you physically, I know it was close to mental abuse. Given how messed up I am. And I would never forgive myself if I had ever hurt you that way. But I didn't. We had our flaws. We had our ups and our downs. And we had our dark moments. But we had each other. And even now, I want to respect that. Even now, I want to protect that. Even now, I care and I appreciate you. All I'm asking is for you to treat me. Treat me better than like if I'm some kind of trash on the side of the road because you're no longer with me. So either you accept that I am a person too. Or you let me leave. Tell me you never want to see me again. Tell me you never want to talk to me again. But I can't have it where you tell me you don't want me in your life, but you want me there. You can't tell me that you no longer want to be together, but you always want me around. You can't treat me like I am a monster and then tell me I'm not allowed to leave. I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, I'm not sure what happened between us for us to get like this. I'm not even sure that this is a thing that we have or if it's all in my head now. Because I keep thinking, why would you... Why would any of this happen? <sighs> but at the end of the day, there are some basic factors, okay? Factor one... I was too much for you to handle. And I'm okay with that. Because I know I'm a mess. I know that you can't keep up with me sometimes. And that's okay. Two. Is that we are broken up. We are done. And it is over. So it's either we act. Like it's over. Or we accept. That it's over and move on. Because this clinging thing, despite it being over, this feeling of you want me here but you don't want me here. I can't keep living like this. And lastly, I see the way people look at me now. I see the way people talk about me now. I see the way that people react to me now. You can tell everyone whatever story you want. You can paint it however you want. I'm not going to stop you. But I've never once been abusive to you. I've never once hit you. 
I've never once shamed you in public. I've never once shamed you behind closed doors. I've never once used you or manipulated you. But if that's the way that you want people to see me, that is your choice. And I'm not going to stop you because I am above that. I just wish you cared enough to be above that too. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go and I'm going to do and I'm going to make it through my day today. And the next time I see you, see that you tell me to never come back into your life ever again. Or you get over whatever it is you're holding against me. You tell it to my face and we get over it. That is your choice to be made now. I wish I could say this, but <laughs> I guess this is our forever always, huh? I love you all more than I love myself. You all mean the world to me. Your support is what keeps me alive. I love you all.